हेलो एवरीवन काइंडनेस दी अर्थ स्काई एंड वी आर ग्रेटफुल फॉर एवरीथिंग वी हैव इन दिस नेचर दे गिव अस आ बेसिक नेसेसिटीज दैट इज ए फूड एंड वाटर बिकॉज environment atmosphere you you call it nature and this nature has made us dependent on it hmm air water and food and as they are powerful this earth sky and nature all of these three from the very beginning until now without any halt continuously are providing us with our basic necessities like air water and food huh eh? just think if this environment this uh, nature stops for some time you know if uh, nature stops uh, giving us air Huh? Then what will happen? Huh? Will we be able to breathe? We are breathing in and out to live. Huh? If these clouds for a year stop pouring rains totally, what will happen if they stop? You have any answer? Huh? Our body is eighty percent made up of water. 80% of our body is made up of water we will die of thirst just think if earth thinks this way goes on strike huh stops giving us crops then what will we eat we will die in hunger but you know these powers will never do all this <laughs> that is why we should also learn from these energies to try and give those people something who are dependent on us for their necessities for whom we are power or a medium understood any which ways our relation is been with that culture who has taught us to give and also taught us to sacrifice we are part of those ancestors who always used to give the one who was in need they were always ready to give anyone who was in need everything for kindness now you can take an example of mahabharat's karan huh the brave karan who in just one second gave up his protective shield from his body and gave it as a donation hmm? maharishi dadi ji you know today we say we should donate our organs after death huh eh? so that it can be useful to someone just think thousands of years ago in our purans there is a story that maharishi dadichi had sacrificed his own life in charity so that the devas could make the weapon called vajra from his own bones so that devas could protect themselves this is such an old example Raja Harish Chandra had not just donated his kingdom but also left his wife and son to serve others That is why in our culture we donate on every festival In Makar Sankranti distributing khichdi made out of dal and rice amongst the poor is still a part of our culture and tradition This is done till today Our ancestors have given us in our heritage the habit to donate especially after no moon and full moon only after having a bath 
the biggest reason behind it was that the poor should be provided with food and money as charity you know when there are new crops grown on the farm we still donate one part of it as a charity and this is followed in lots of villages all across india our culture teaches us to be kind and helpful to animals and all the birds and species around us that is why our ancestors made a process that the first roti cooked at home should be given to the holy cow and the last roti to the dog you see this was not a rule this was actually done for animals because they were dependent on human beings for their food and by helping them we ensured that they do not starve you see science too agrees on this that when we give something to the needy and help them then in our brains a hormone called dopamine is created which gives us a feeling of peace and happiness if we describe the food chain in very simple form then we will get to know that every species in this world is dependent on the other species for its food requirement isn't it as we human beings have the power to reason every individual should consider helping others as per our capability like helping all animals and other humans around us to fulfill their food requirements to the maximum as much as we can our ancestors were able to understand this very well and that is why on every occasion and festival they started a process of arranging food for a religious feast as part of a spiritual service along with that after returning from a holy place our ancestors taught us to feed cows and goats with grass which is even followed today and it is very unique to our culture in our country in many holy places there is an arrangement done for a religious feast why so that the people in need can come and have food there outside a lot of holy places there is a trend to keep fruits and food for monkeys and food grains for birds even today this comes because of our ancestors that we learn that all living beings in this world should be considered as equals in many holy and divine places which are adjacent to rivers and oceans we see people feeding fishes there with fish food This is a very old custom which is followed even today by most people. And the reason behind this is only one that we have to learn to do things and charity for others. Sacrifice is a very important thing in our culture. Isn't it? You know there are some generous people in this society who try to protect other people's lives and for that they donate their body organs which can be used even after their death because that body organ can be given to someone in need and that gives them a new life to live this is such a good deed isn't it <laughs> you just think that after that these eyes too will be mortal you know if any blind person is in the need of eyes and we can donate these eyes to them even after our death then these eyes 
can give eyesight and a new lease of life to someone and in this way the person is alive even after death this is a part of our culture what we heard about maharishi datiji is exactly the same this is the biggest deed of kindness in the world organ donation and blood donation too is considered a big charity that is why try to be helpful to others around us because kindness is actually the biggest treasure of this world and nothing else that is why keep doing good deeds always and please don't let this chain break at all so that when you too will be in need there will be someone to help you as well someone will thank you